Not it. That jar is half empty. No, that jar is half full. Nope, 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 nope. It is half empty. It is mostly empty. No, it is half full. You guys, nope, I can nope, hear nope, you nope. arguing all the way over there. Oh, Miss Crow, I'm glad you're here. Is this jar half empty or half full? Uh, I don't know. I think we're going to have to think about it for a while. Hi, Georgia. Hey, Miss Crow. How did you get up here so fast? Oh, Lana came and got me. She's so good at that. What are you here for? Uh, I'm here to do my cheer. Oh, you are. Yes, well, I think we should do it together. Uh, I'm not to. All right, and we're gonna look out there, all of you somethings, and we're gonna say, we're not nothing, we're something. Good, thanks, Georgia. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, Doug and Lottie were having a discussion, and, oh. and what what did you what were you discussing, Doug? Oh, we, we were trying to figure out if that jar was half empty or half full. I said half empty. Did you guys decide out there? Georgia, did you see the jar? I did indeed. What did you think? Well, I think it just all depends on what how you look at it. Oh, Georgia, you are very wise. I am a giraffe. <laughs> I think that that's a wonderful way to look at it. We do see things differently, don't we? Indeed we do. It's called perspective. What we think we can do, what we try to do, Maybe we can do if we work at it. But if you look at that mountain and say it's too high and you never stop climbing, what happens, dog? Well, you'd never get to the top. You would never get to the top of the mountain. Nope. Well, hey, Georgia, thanks for helping me over there. Oh, no problem, no problem. Wait, 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 wait. What, what were you helping Miss Crow with? Uh, I was getting some leaves up out of the tree. Our friend Tree decided that she wanted to be part of the show. So she's giving us our letters of the day and I'll show you what they look like. She's very clever. Here it is. So, guys, what's that letter? Well, uh, that's the letter E. It is the letter E. What does it say? E. And what else does it say? Still says E. And it also says eh. Oh, what sound does it make? <laughs> it makes a eh sound. <laughs> okay, you're <laughs> right. So technical. And Friend Tree also gave us how many of these? There's one, there's two, and there's three. What do you think the number of the day is, guys? I think the number's gonna be three. Georgia, you're so good. <laughs> and the three looks like this one. And let's count. And we're gonna drop them just like the leaves they are. Are you ready? One, two, two and three. three. Thanks, Friend Tree. You did a great job. Aren't we pleased with Friend Tree? Absolutely, absolutely. It's fun to be part of the show, and we're gonna do that more. So, dog, we've been talking about how do we see things? Hmm. Well, with our eyes. Very good. Um, so, you think the jar still was half full or half empty? Well, I think that it's all about how you look at it. I think it is. We're going to think about it some more. You guys think about it some more, too. There is a Super K something that is out there, and he wasn't he wasn't like super keen on his talent and able to fly a kite. Well, let's see what happened. George, can you take us to that day? There you go. Slow down, slow down. Fly a kite. Ah. And you know, 
If his daddy hadn't taken pictures of it, I would have thought that he couldn't fly a kite because he actually said, no, I didn't fly a kite. <laughs> and his dad pulled out his camera and showed me. And I said, look at what you're doing. And he got the funniest little look on his face. So Super K did something that he didn't think he could do, but he had to look at it a different way. No, he didn't keep the kite up in the air for hours, but he did get the kite up in the air for 15 minutes. I think that's pretty good, don't you guys? Ooh, I think that's great. Since we're talking about little somethings out there, there is another little something. And he has started his, well, it's Little Bird Book Broadcasting. And he is going to show us his picks of the week. Because they've been going to the library and he does have picks of the week. George, take us to Little Bird's Broadcasting. Welcome to Little Bird's Book Broadcast. What book is that, Dale? Do you remember? It's not all rainbows. Hmm. Do you think that they were having a unicorns like to have good days or bad days? Good. Good. But do you always have to have good days? No. No. Do you think that Kevin the unicorn had a good day? No. Hmm. We should find out more and read the book, huh? Say? Bye! Thanks, little bird. You are amazing. Doing those picks of the week. But dog, I have some picks of the week. Would you like to see them? Oh, I love to see them. What I like to do during the summer and most of the times is I reread my grandma's bookshelf. She had these kind of books. This one is a Nancy Drew book. And on my grandma's bookshelf were all these books and they looked like this. And I would get to see my older sister. Do you know who which one that is? Well, uh, uh, that'd be, uh, nope, nope. It's Great Aunt Crow. <laughs> and so Great Aunt Crow had her own bookshelves. And when I was little, I'd climb those stairs and I'd look at the bottom shelf and I would try to decide which book, when I learned to read, I was going to... I thought I was going to read first. Well, which one did you read first? It was something about Annette. Like, Annette, like, you going to throw a net in the water to catch fish? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was Annette Fruticello, and there used to be a series about her. It was a pink book, I think. Once <laughs> upon a time, when I was a little girl. Well, I know you guys all wanted to hear about that. So, Lottie, you think the jar is what? And Doug, you see the jar is what? Well, I still say it's half empty. You do say it's half empty. Do you guys at home, do you know which one's right? Which do you think it is? Do you guys want to know what I think it is? Yep, I definitely want to know. I would say it's half full. Why would you say half full? Because I am an optimist. An optimist looks on the bright side of things. Lottie, you are an optimist. Yes, I am. And it doesn't mean that there's not a room in the world for a pessimist. A pessimist is somebody who doesn't see the bright side of things. I think in this day and age, we call them realists. Is that what you think? Well, yeah, I'd say that, yep, yep. I'd say you're a realist, and it really, it just depends on the way we're looking at it, doesn't it? It does, it does, it does. I prefer to see at, I prefer to see what's there instead of what's not there. Ah, and that's, I, I get it. That's just the way I look at the world. And Lottie, what do you think? Do you think the same thing? I do, I do, I do. Well, I think there's room in the world for all of us, don't you, Lottie? Indeed. How about you, dog? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we should stop arguing about it? Yep, I believe everybody has their own perspective now. I believe that we're right. Let's find Norman. Call him. Norman! Norman! And we're, what's our number today? Uh, uh oh, oh, oh. So we're going to say, kick Norman out here. One, two, and three. And there's Norman. Hi, Norman. Hi, guys. 
So, was it half full for you or half empty for you? I am a half full type of guy. You are a half full type of guy. I agree. So, let's say the three things that we're supposed to say. Okay, I'm ready. All right. The first one is be, be kind, kind, be, be strong, strong, be, be something. Fun. Thanks so much. Thanks, Norman, for being here. Well, if you guys like to sit home, push like and subscribe. And if you have something else to say, remember what Mrs. Thumper always says. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Bye now.